Okay, hey everyone, happy full moon. Happy full moon in Capricorn. Okay, so this is my first tarot reading, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but be patient with me. I wanted to do a full moon reading for the collective, um, so, whew. All right, spirit, let's see how this goes. Let's see what messages you got. We'll start with Work Your Light Oracle. Okay, answer the call. So what is your soul calling you to do right now at this time? It's like, feel like a spirit wants you to get in touch with your intuition and um, basically allow yourself to explore. But also it seems like you're breaking ancestral patterns. There might be some feelings that are coming up right now at this point that are triggering you and they're coming up just for your good. Um, so what's your soul calling you to do when it comes to um, how to work with whatever is triggering you? Um, how to work with these emotions, how to process them, how to get in touch with your deeper self. Um, but also get grounded. Um, meditation, spending time in nature. Um, I feel like you're supposed to go within. Um, I've also been being called to go within, so I feel like that's also a message that um, is for the collective um, empaths. But um, your, whatever it is, whatever your soul is calling you to do, your guidance is divinely guided. So please trust yourself at this time. Trust yourself. Get in. Get deep. It says if you need to meditate to get in touch with yourself, get grounded. Get grounded, meditate in nature, take a bath, um, something when it comes to uh, working with the elements right now. But your guidance, whatever it is, your guidance is divinely guided, so trust that. Trust that, but um, yes, find a way to work with the, your ancestral patterns. Um, whatever is coming up for you is, for tr uh, is being triggered for healing. So um, work with that and find some way to process, find a creative way to process that, but also uh, self-care, get in touch. So bath, meditation, yoga, anything that helps you get in touch with your body, anything that will help you get in touch, that will get in touch, will help you get in touch with your intuition. So to continue this part of the reading, it says the, gain the energy is gaining momentum. So whatever it is that your soul is calling you to do, you have to have faith in your dreams. But right now the energy is gaining momentum. So if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling like there's something in the air, there's something, you know, there's a, a little bit of tension in the air. If you're feeling sleepier than usual, a little bit drowsy, um, headache maybe. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'm just kind of going off of what, what I've also been dealing with. So... Yeah, there's a lot of energy right now. This is the full, I mean, this is a waxing moon card, but this is the full moon. Um, you'll probably have to sleep a little bit more, but it looks like you have to really go within. Like, I know that it's 4th of July. A lot of people are connecting with um, other people right now. Call. See, that's a confirmation. There's a um, oracle card that's called Soul Gifts and Training. It's time to step up. So whatever it is that your soul is calling you to do, like it's time. But first, it's a pause, a pause to take care of yourself. So I'm pretty sure you're supposed to go within and get in touch and see what actually what your soul is calling you to do and specifically how to do it. Let's see. It's also it's lifting the veil. 
questioning everything anything unaligned must go mm. so yeah it's time to go within it's full moon time so that means releasing releasing anything unaligned must go whether it's um whether it's beliefs mindsets um thoughts about yourself fears insecurities people things it, like it usually comes down to that but it doesn't always have to be a person, but it's time, it's just questioning everything. The, the veil is lifting, so that means that people are being unmasked. Uh, what else it? Well, truths are being revealed, you know. What's done in the dark will come in the light, uh, will come to the light, so. Um, even, uh, what is it, your soul gifts and training, that's lifting the veil. Like, literally everything that is aligned with you is coming to light right now, and anything that's unaligned is also coming you will feel that in your intuition i feel like that's why you need to get in touch with your intuition because at this time um at this time you're going to start questioning everything and questioning what is unaligned and what is not in alignment with you and in order to get the discernment correctly in order to get in touch with yourself you have to go within so take some time you know it's cancer season it's time to go into your shell and you know get in touch with those thoughts and get rid of the thoughts that no longer serve you um but whatever is calling whatever your whatever path you're being led to right now is the right one so for my women ooh all right okay yes okay so we have the black madonna which is our lady of hermits i transform pain and suffering into a, gr a greater capacity to love so literally that's another confirmation right there go time to go within for but it's also time to transform whatever pain there's some pain that's being come into light which is from of course the oracle break the chain so ancestral patterns are coming up healing is coming up from generational curses like insecurities fear childhood traumas they're coming back up to light right now so it's time to get in touch with the black madonna and become a hermit and transform whatever pain is coming up into a gr greater capacity to love so that's usually mean going within and doing your soul purpose so what is your soul calling you to do what kind of beauty what kind of art or or um science whatever it is whatever path that it is that's good for you what is your soul calling you to do because you're not living it and spirit's telling you that it's time to live it it's time to live it like literally i think these generational patterns are coming up because you are not following your soul purpose you're being triggered from living an unhappy like living a life that is not what you want to live or not what you well, how you're supposed to live so thikla the prophet is of true power. I call my power back from all times and all places. I am my own. So that's why it's time to go within right now because you might have been surrounded by people at this time. You know, it's 4th of July, so you're probably getting in touch with all these people. And you've probably been surrounded by family because summer. But it's time to go within. I'm a social battery, literally. If my battery is on zero and I'm still out, like, uh, there comes to a point where I can't even hide it anymore. Like, I have to go home. I have to recharge. I have to sleep. Whatever it is, I have to get my energy back to myself. So, it's time. And this is the, uh, what is it, the oracle equivalent of the strength card. So it's time to find that strength within yourself to walk the path that you're supposed to be walking. And then for Marguerite Porte, the mystic of divine love. Love is divine and I am nothing except love. So I really feel like it's, I feel like this is really reflecting self-care. Self-care, self-care. It's like going within, taking some time to yourself, getting grounded, meditating, taking a bath, um, some self-love, getting in touch with nature, maybe going on a hike by yourself. Maybe take a nice walk. It's time to get in touch with, get in touch with yourself again. And then Machi Labdron, the diamond hearted Dakini. I see light in my own darkness. I face my ego beliefs to feel free. So yeah, ego is coming up. It says shadows, healing, triggers are coming up right now for you to heal ancestral patterns, generational curses. So you really have to love on yourself right now. You really have to love on yourself right now. And sometimes that's even hard for me because when my shadow comes up, I'd be like, bitch, no, like it's time to go. But literally you have to talk to yourself better. You you really have to give yourself some self-love and actually give yourself time to feel that. Like don't feel bad for feeling however you're feeling, but 
allow that to go. Like, don't hold any grudges. Try not to hold it and get so emotionally attached to it. Try to find a creative outlet. Maybe if you want to paint or if you want to scream, you know, if you want to scream, if you want to sing, if you want to, you know, dance it out, if you want to just, like, run around your apartment, like, whatever, like, however you uh, like to get, like, energy out when you're upset or, um, you know, feeling some type of way, do that. And make sure it's healthy, you know, just just make sure it's healthy. Um, you know, everything is good in moderation, but like this is not a sign drink your life away. Like, no. Um, and the goddess of self knowledge, Saraswati, the uh, the essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. So literally, yes, create create something create something create a dance create a video like you know you, you really don't need to post anything you just need to do something for yourself whether it's coloring watching um an old tv show that makes you feel a good feeling i wouldn't say avoid getting in touch with other people but i feel like focus more on the creative activities that you can do on your own um explore your inner child you know ask yourself that question meditate on it sit on, like allow your thoughts to explore like even if it's like something like oh this is the dumbest shit ever like this is the dumbest shit ever and i i don't know how i'm gonna do with this like okay start there start there and allow it to flow quiet time is good you don't always need to allow your thoughts to run if they do run let them run um i would say look in the mirror because that's a note that i've been getting that i still haven't fucking done <laughs> but just stare at yourself in the mirror tell yourself something nice be like hey you know it's been it's been a rough time like we're going through it but um we're okay like everything's okay like we'll be okay even if we're feeling like shit right now like i don't know give yourself a smile give yourself a pat on the back because you know this is capricorn time and that's earth time and a lot of hard work or energy is just being put in a lot so try to give yourself some of that time and let me see let's get a tarot card on how on the specifics let's see if there's anything specific that ooh, that's coming up ooh. okay ten of wands ten of wands okay so it's ten of wands reversed i think it's something about baggage i feel like at this time you need to um let go of some baggage some energetic baggage maybe um i'm not a hundred percent um pro but i believe that uh that the ten of wands reverse means that there's been a lot i know that the regular means that there's a lot of baggage there's been a lot of baggage there's been a long journey and you're carrying a lot of bags so I feel like at this time, Ten of Wands Reverse might mean that you're having a hard time letting some go of some of these things. You're having a hard time uh, letting go of some of these or processing these. This is especially for the people who tend to put themselves last. I feel like if you tend to put yourself last, like this is a time where you're really being triggered. You probably want to take some time out for yourself, but because everybody is, uh, you know, wanting you at this time or everybody's contacting you or, you know, even work, maybe work is uh, really, really heavy right now. It's time. It's time to let go of everyone's expectations of you. Like literally it's time to let go of, um the opinions of other people you know you sometimes we don't get back to people people want to have attitudes or you know we feel guilty for not either wanting to give those people that time or for just taking time for ourselves out first and literally it's not a time to feel guilty you're being called to do something and that first is mostly going within so don't feel guilty about not being able to be there for somebody i know that um Sometimes we feel bad, but we you really can't be there for everybody if you're not being there for yourself. It's time to uh, continue breaking um, ancestral patterns, but you're be probably being triggered. Um, if you really do need to ask for help, don't be afraid to ask for it. But I feel like it's a time for you to get grounded, a time to meditate, get in touch with yourself, go to nature by yourself, um, take some self-care because the energy is gaining momentum. And whatever your soul is being called to do, um, you're supposed to do it. Like, you're probably learning about it right now, but it's time to step up into your power. Um, when you're all up and energetically rested, it will be time. And have faith in your dreams because whatever your path, whatever that your soul is calling to you to do, it's, it's 
it's the it's the truth but let go like literally it's time to like let go let go of those thoughts let go of whatever baggage that you're holding if whether it's literal or energetic it's time to let it go um and take care of yourself all right all right it seems like we did pretty good i, I gotta give myself a little pat on the back this is the first time i've actually did this on video for everybody so um please give me a, a thumbs up or a confirmation that um some of these energies were correct i really want to get in touch with everybody um thank you so much everybody whoever watches this for my support uh, for your support this is my first ever video and as you can see i've been stuttering and stammering through it the entire time so if you're still here you're a fucking g thank you um happy full moon uh, happy capricorn and full moon guys